What's going on everybody? Welcome to GMI's World and today I'm going to be showing you a three-man blitz that's going to come in regardless of what your opponent is doing. Now, just before we get into it, I always try to make sure you guys understand. When I lab, I lab against human opponents while I'm in actual ranked games or I lab on all Madden competitive mode, alright? So this is pretty much what you're going to look at, all Madden competitive. Um, you want to see my settings. Uh, auto flip is always off for me. I hate that uh, thing there. Auto strafe is off. Everything else is on because I want to just die from 95 feet away with, with, you know, with the heat seeker and all that kind of stuff. You know, like when you, you think somebody's so far ahead of you, but you just dive and the dude just stretches all the way across the field. So I leave all those other things on. But I t this year, it's really, really good regardless if you have auto strafe on or off because you can actually strafe this year. So um, I just have it off now because it, it's just been working for me to have it off. All right. So the playbook that I'm going to be using, this is the... Um, the uh, Oakland Raiders defensive playbook. And the primary reason for this is to have the hybrid, to have the three fours and to have the four three, all right? They also have four four split, which I have some blitzes that work out of that. If you guys want those blitzes as well, let me know. Um, I'm gonna like you know start trying to give you guys weekly uh, tutorials to keep your game up because a lot of the new guys that's been playing have really been enjoying some of the content that I've been putting out as far as you know tips on how to use her, uh, the blitzing and stuff like that. Um, as far as nickel, um, I have some other things in that as well, but we have to wait to get to those things. But today we're going to be looking at 3-4 under. And um, pretty much this blitz is going to work regardless as long as the left... The, you see on the left side right there, that left uh, linebacker? You have to really, you just have to flip the play. And I'm going to show you the setup after that. But as long as when you go to it, the linebacker is on the left side coming down like that. And you can flip it and have him on the right. The blitz is going to work the way that it's supposed to. All right? Um, I've already tested this, tested this out against human opponents. The dude screams regardless. What you're going to do, I'm going to give you the primary setup right now. 3-4 under. You're going to flip the play. You're going to slide your D-line to the right. You're going to crash them up. You're going to spy the actual left, uh, the left end, the, the end on the left side of your screen. And then you're going to sit your linebacker that's in the yellow zone right in between the gap of whether it's the tight end on the, uh, and the actual right, uh, the right outside linebacker that's actually coming in that's in a contain. So you're going to shift them to the right, crash them up, contain, spy the left end, and just sit in the gap. And, um, you know, pretty much when you're – the computer's going to cheat when you, um, when you practice it. But you, the human opponent, he's going to scream, especially if you do what I do and I put Shazir – uh, or the fastest linebacker that you have on the outside that's coming in, it's pretty much like they're going to come in. It just The only way that you could really, um, you know, stop it is possibly to get a lucky runoff, but you got to be able to have good user to stop the run with this uh, play right here. But if you get your opponent into a situation where he has to pass the ball, it's pretty much a no-brainer. So what we're going to do, we're going to slide him to the right, crash him up, and we're going to spy this guy. So you see how they, they crashed up, but the way that they crash. It looks like that with the container on that side. And you're just going to sit this guy right here. And then uh, Shazir should get off really quick. You see how Shazir got off really quickly? Let's go to this um, instant replay. And keep in mind that it is a blue route. So the blue route is going to help to block before he leaves out. But you could see Shazir, well, the running back on the left side, there's nobody over there. So he's going to start to... Um, you know, you're going to start to go out to his right on the side over there. And that's what most people will do. They'll slide the running back over. But depending on who your linebacker is, he'll still block shit and come right in. You can see Shazir is going to come in regardless. It's just the fact that Tom Brady is Tom Brady and he went to Harvard nine times. So he senses the pressure. But this is a three-man blitz. You know what I'm saying? It's a three-man blitz. It's, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come. You know what I'm saying? But you, that's my user. And I screwed up over here. Back here with Dupree. Who's it? That's Dupree, right? Let me see, hold on, because everybody got dreads, even if they don't have dreads in the game uh, in real life. You know, EA Sports just gives them dreads. So, yeah, that is Dupree. All right, so pretty much you can see that Shazir is coming in regardless. But Tom Brady is so, you know, he's so keen to know that the pressure is coming that he's going to get rid of the ball. So we're going to go ahead and try it again and try to get the pressure on him. So we're going to uh, slide him to the left, crash him up. Um, why didn't they slide, though? Why, why didn't you move over? Okay, yeah, there you go. What? Why did that one guy move? All right, so this is just going to be wild. I don't know I don't know how that guy is just so far off from there, but probably just a glitch within the game. And then Shazir gets, uh, you know, just gets pancaked and, and done right. And then you see how I'm running with that only route that I have to defend right there? Keep in mind, you can do a lot of different things with your people to help with the coverages. You know what I'm saying? So you see like how I spied him, crashed him out. I'm going to sit him right here. And I'm watching Grunk. I got to watch Grunk regardless. That's my guy. 
You see what I'm saying? Right there, Shazir's getting blocked up again. Sometimes that's going to happen. Eventually, he comes off. Again, it's on all Madden. So, you know, the computer's going to do what they need to do to survive in the world. They're just going to cheat. But that's the whole thing. You're just sliding him to the right, crashing him up. Sometimes I crash him to the right. You know, it just depends on what your opponent is doing. But he should be able to get in right away. The, the computer is reading that the blitz is coming. That's why they're throwing the ball so fast. But again... Okay, that time I crashed him up, I contained him, and I put him in a spire right there. All right, so I'm going to sit right here again. And then sometimes I sit over the center when I'm playing a human opponent as well. Just, I just want you guys to understand that I'm going to get dotted on that play right there and get spin moved by Grunk. Um, this time I'm going to crash them to the right. Because depending on what's going on in the game, the game situation, you have to be able to assess. Okay, so it goes the same way, whether you're crashing them up or whatever, um, or out, it doesn't matter. Um, he, sh he should... Yeah, there he goes. Okay, so... What happens is the computer is going to try to cheat, all right? So don't feed too much into the fact that, you know, you see the computer and they're doing whatever they want and, um, you know, they're able to block it. Human opponents, because of the way that they're stacked, they won't be able to block it, okay? And when they run, that's what the spy is for. The spy is going to chase him down to the other side. So when you slide them, I'm, I'm just going to crash them to the right. Just crash them to the right. When I crash them up sometimes... It's not the same routine. So we're just going to slide him to the right, crash him to the right, spy him, and then just sit in that side right there and then get dotted. That's pretty much what it is. But again, that's just me uh, with the delay not getting back to, uh, you know, to my tight end because that's my assignment. But what, and, and I know a lot of people are going to ask, what if you leave that, that left end in the contain? It's going to end pretty badly for you. Um, pretty much Shazir is, is I, I don't know what the computer is doing, but they're able to block it right now. But um, you're going to be able to have a lot of screaming. I'm going to crash him up this time and see exactly what goes on with it. Um, you know what? Let me sit him right here. Let me sit him right here and see what's going on. Because this year, when you're in practice mode, the computer won't really hike the ball. You see, like, he, you see, he, he's going to scream more likely in, uh, you know, when you play a human opponent than it will against computer on all Madden. And this is why I learn and know what blitzes work. And this has been the same for like the last three or four years. Even though they've made it so that practice mode, uh, the blitzes don't really work in practice mode anymore. If you practice on all Madden, right, and it's like an inkling that a blitz will work, it'll probably work in the real game. You see what I'm saying? But the way it's just better to make the computer cheat you and just to understand what might work than to not, um, you know what I'm saying, not lab on all Madden. Because if you do all pro, a lot of fluky things will happen. And you'll think that it still works. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't, it really doesn't work. So that's why I just want to make sure you guys understand that. So all we're doing, we're just going to keep crashing him right. We're going to spy this guy. We're going to sit right here, like right in the middle right here and see what happens. But you're going to have to experiment, especially when you're playing online with, with a human opponent and see exactly what's working. But the only reason that Tom Brady is getting the ball off so fast is because the computer senses that it is supposed to be, a, you know, a blitz like it's supposed to be. But for some reason... You know, because the way Gronk is over there, um, he's bumping Shazir. And that's the key. You got to keep Shazir pretty close in. He still caught that? He still caught it? All right, good, good. I just want to make sure that he still catches it while I'm trying to hit stick him. You know what I'm saying? That really makes me happy. All right. Um, yeah, so here we go. It's a three-man blitz. So understand that, you know, you actually have five guys blocking plus the blue route. So the whole purpose... Oh, see, he got in that time. Okay, okay, now Gronk is Iron Man. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, on instant replay, that's what's supposed to happen 95% of the time. Sometimes, you know, for some reason, you know, he'll get blocked and held up a little bit. But keep in mind, it's a three-man blitz. So the spy is drawing the attention of the left guard, who is Thuni, and Andrew's the center. So they're looking at the spy. And then the, eventually the center sees that, you know, he's just spying him. So he goes over to go and, uh, you know, try to block the D tackle. But by that time, everybody gets bunched up and it's too late. So this is the concept of it. You can, you can make this play magic by doing a lot of different things. You can send more people. But I use this as a play where it's like, all right, it's third down and long. You know, what is he going to do? You know, what is my opponent going to do? Well, he or she, because right now there's a lot of females playing Madden as well. Um, so what, what is he or she going to do? Why are my linebackers doing the things that they're doing? Move over. Shazir, are you serious right now? Yo, Shazir, look, do me a favor, bro. I'm about to put, like, a couple snakes in your locker. Just go in there and act like you don't see him. All right, why is he not in the contain, though? All right, there he goes. I don't know. This is definitely probably not going to work right now because of what just happened. I don't know why everybody just started doing whatever, and then this dude's about to dot me, and they catch the ball with a ridiculous animation. All right, so that's pretty much the concept of the Blitz. It helps you on, you know, key, key third down, 
Uh, sometimes you can come out, if your opponent's like passing like a savage, you could just come out and run it. You see, like, look, he's going to scream. You just want to put your fastest linebacker there. Did he fumble and nobody picked the ball up? Is that what just happened right there? Are you, are you, okay. All right, and remember, we're just going to keep crashing him to the right, slide him to the right, crash him right, contain, and um, we're going to just sit here. We're going to just sit here in this gap, and that's what you're going to be doing against your human opponent as well. And, um, you know, the guy, the coverage is fine. Everything, you know, the way that they play it with the cover three, and you're going to go ahead and pretty much secure the middle of the field. That's your assignment. Your assignment is controlling the middle of the field um, and making sure that everything is secure over the middle because everybody's going to play what they're supposed to play you see like the whole thing about it is the longer you could stay down there uh to to like kind of bait the lineman the better it is for the play to work but because grunk is on a streak it makes it kind of difficult what you could do is man up that purple zone on the right on grunk so that you could sit here longer because that's all you really got to do is, is be able to sit there long. And then they're going to bullet pass it. You'll be able to intercept it like that. I know you pretty much see that a lot uh, if you watch streams where guys will bullet pass. Really, really. Why, why did he just do that? We could just man him up. We'll, we'll, man, we'll man him up this time. And we're going to stay down here longer. Just so that we could be here to make it, make it so that the linemen think that we're trying to rush. Just stay around that area. And, um, you know, now the D-tackle comes. Because that's pretty much what you're doing. You're trying to fool the old line into thinking that you're doing something that you're really not. Um, so there's, di there's different ways that you can handle it. Uh, you know, however you want to utilize this, you're sending three guys. Um, I will tell you that sending more doesn't matter. It's something about that spy that draws the attention of the lineman that makes it so that the guys can't really react. They have to try to, you know, make sure they're protecting what's there. They don't move. They just stand there and try to figure out, you know, wh what's this spy doing? They got to know initially what's going to happen so that's pretty much what you're doing right there you know what i'm saying and other than that shazir should be coming in but right now he's just over there getting blocked by everybody you can send the spy by clicking on the r3 button if you know for some reason the qb just stands there in the middle but understand that depending on the mode that you're labbing or if you're playing against a human opponent um it's going to vary but it is a three-man blitz and um you know, you can expect to get pressure most of the time. Okay, right there. He was, okay, what? Did he just try to hit stick and just hit stick the air? Most of the time, you're going to get the pressure that you need. What I'm learning right now with the computer is, when I alternate sitting in this gap and sitting in this gap, it's different. Like, Shazir is starting to scream different times. Like, right there, he should come in. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, you, you got to play around with it. But again, the concept of it is to make sure that your opponent does not get a third down that you don't want him to get. Or her, or you know, you, you just don't want your opponent. Just let's just say opponent, because I've been seeing a lot, lot more and more, a lot more females playing Madden, and you know that's that's so exciting for me. But you can see that like when I'm sitting in the middle over the center, he'll scream regular, he'll scream regular. Wherever you're comfortable with sitting, that's what I would recommend. So, you know, we're gonna just keep doing what? Why did he just keep running over there? We're gonna keep this going for like the last segment of it, just to show you, uh, pretty much sitting over the center seems to give you a little bit more of better results with the blitz. So we'll just sit him over the center. So you're pretty much sliding him to the right, crashing him to the right, containing, which is uh, L, the L2, R1, and then spy. You click on him and then, uh, what is it? Uh, X and then to the right on the right stick or something like that um, for, the, uh, for the spy. And then that's it. You just sit over there in your regular zone and you, the whole objective. Okay, keep, everybody gets spin moved. Yeah, yeah, spin cycle. Just keep going, bro, because I don't understand what my defense is doing. Like, cut it out, guys. All right, so um, that's pretty much what it is. Very, very simple blitz. You know, slide, crash, uh, spy, and just sit over the center, man. Sit over the center, see what happens. Um, Shazir, and then you can send the guy, like I just sent him right there, by clicking down on the R3 uh, and making him come right in. But this should help anyone that's struggling to get your opponent off the field on, uh, you know, on third downs, and especially the guys that go for it. You know, you got real douchebags that'll just go for it anytime, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, let me send him. I'm just going to send the spy. You know, sometimes that adds a little bit more, and you might want to put... Um, a faster end in this position. You know, two it is not too fast, so you might not get the results that you're looking for when you send him. He might just run into the run into one of the linemen. Primarily, you want to wait though. You want to wait until the quarterback starts to move to the left a little bit so that it's open season on him. You know what I'm saying? But again, it's fourth. It's three four under. We're in the Raiders playbook. The play is flipped, and you're doing all those things and getting dotted. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure that your user is better than mine during this tutorial. Because, like, if you guys have watched my gameplays, you know that doesn't happen. I'm usually out there, but 
I'm just trying to bait the CPU as long as I can to give the, the Blitz more chances of working before I move. So that's pretty much what the issue is there. Okay, so yeah, yeah, get you, get you, get you too. All right, you got a hit stick off. All right, so um, I will be bringing you some more heaters, but people were asking me about more uh, blitzes that, you know, were more coverage blitzes. And that's pretty much what this one is. So if you're enjoying the content, definitely subscribe, definitely share. Let me know what else you're looking to do other than watch me get dotted. And, um, you know, I'll be back. But I'm going to try to get it in one more time to see. I'm trying to, okay, maybe, oh, I know what it is. Like I just said, I'm alternating where I sit because the computer, some, for some reason, um, is uh, you have to you have to adjust where you are sometimes. Okay, there he goes. He's still trying to scream around. I already came in. So yeah, I would just play around with it, especially when you're playing a human opponent. Let me know how it works for you in game. I'm really interested to see because it works very very beautifully for me. Dudes scream regularly, bro. They just be screaming like savages. But for the most part, it's probably because because they're human opponents. They're trying to ID the mic and doing all kind of craziness, and it f's up their offensive line. So that could be the reason. The computer's gonna try to cheat regardless. You know what I'm saying? They're going to do whatever they can do to block it. But trust me when I tell you, it's a great defense to, to run when you have issues on getting your opponent off the field. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Until next time, one love.